What has Big Tree Tech been working on? Well, they've got a whole bunch of new goodies for your upcoming Voron build, along with some great add-ons if you got a Bamboo Lab printer. That and more in today's episode from Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Fest 2024, sponsored by LDO Motors. For printer parts, kits, accessories, and more, check them out at the link in the description. So we're here at Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Fest 2024. I've got Luke here from Big Tree Tech, and they've been cooking up a lot of cool stuff. So Luke, what's new? We have got a lot of really cool stuff going on for uh, you know those who just really enjoy building, modifying their printers. So we've got a Voron over here that I'm gonna use to demonstrate some of the really cool stuff that we've been cooking up. Uh, here it is. And on top of it, you can see a, a big old enraged rabbit carrot feeder. And the reason that is there is because we're actually working on our own kit and uh, a really, really great new board along with the team that will uh, that will add some really cool new features to this. So hang on tight, wait for that kit. It's gonna be a great little kit that's coming out soon. So this is the new V2 version and you've got a bunch of that's, extras with that's it. That's V2. This is not exactly our completed kit. This is kind of like we put it together to get it ready in time for the show. Uh, but our completed kit, when it does hit, will have great new boards and a bunch of new features. But all that will be announced in due time. This is just yet to, to show it off for now. What we're running inside here is, um, you can see we've got this pop coming through. So that's a CPAP. You'll also see, obviously, we've got the Nomi 2 running over there. Um, now, if you just come across, this is called the Universal Turbo Kit. This CPAP doesn't just get driven from a standard PWM on a motherboard because that actually doesn't drive a CPAP the way it's meant to be driven. Okay. Our beta testing has shown that this universal converter board is able to produce about 20% extra flow rate out of your CPAP. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. yeah. That's a lot and, of air. And, <laughs> and I mean, Olivier from Havort, yep. he's got the, the data to, to show it. He's got a fantastic test setup. He'll release that, I think, as part of a video at some point in the future. But that board drives your CPAP like no other can. And, and the cool thing is, if we look around the back, it's such a great little compact oh, nice. setup. Yeah. yeah, it's all in there. It's done. And uh, yeah, the, the, the pipe feeding the uh, tool head just comes out of there. And that's your whole cooling solution. So it's a really great little package solution for Voron uh, builders. Easy conversion to CPAP. So carrying on. You will also, well, you can't actually see it, but this is running our Eddy, which is over here, and there's uh, three different flavors of it. We've got the USB, we've got the coil, which connects directly to your tool board uh, via R2C, and then we've got the can, which connects via can. So that's your, that's your Eddy over there. Fantastic little Eddy current uh, bed leveling sensor, and uh, yeah, those are going to be really, really cost effective. And, and these look like they're drop-ins so with the inductive probe, right? Exactly. So, so your Omron probe, you just pull that bad boy out, you pop the Eddy in, it gives you full Z homing uh, and bed leveling using the single probe. And, and like that's it. There's no extra mount needed. You just slip the thing in and, and off you go. So it's okay. super easy to install. So that's running Eddy. This is pretty cool. This is the safe clipper shutdown module. And the reason this exists is because around a year ago, I shut my machine off and corrected my SD card, and I just got sick and tired of it. Okay. And I said, you know what we should do? We should make a little thing where as you turn the machine off, it detects the rail collapsing and gives you like 60 seconds of extra power volts so that the, uh, the SBC or the Pi or whatever can shut down safely. Okay. And, and then you don't get corrupted SD cards anymore. Oh, nice. Now, could this be somewhat used for um, power loss? Can it be kind of... Yeah, potentially. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think Clipper supports power loss, but I do think Danger Clipper supports power, power loss, loss recovery. recovery. Okay. And if you were to use that, then absolutely, you could trigger a macro because it does have an output that tells the board, hey, I've lost main power, but here's five volts. Okay. You know, shut down and, and do what you need to do. You could just trigger a macro that safely saves things. In fact, I think there are some macros for standard Clipper that would even implement that too. Okay. That's what. The, so that's what the big caps right here exactly. are for. Exactly. Massive for the power. super caps. Okay. Um, and then what else we got? We got the V2X extruder. So, so this, this is, is actually a, in the printer right now. This is in the printer right now, yeah. That is a super lightweight CNC aluminum extruder designed not just for Voron, but we've got some nice mounts designed for the EVA and for the Voron for it. And uh, yeah, yeah. It looks sexy and it works great. What else have we got going on over here? This is cool. This is the, the clipper touch, right? 
So now we released the Panda Touch a while back. That allowed group control of bamboo machines. Yes. But using the same hardware, we can also achieve group control of clipper machines via Moonraker. And so clipper touch, you, you, you're not going to replace your Raspberry Pi or your BTT Pi with one of these, but it will allow you to connect to your machines remotely. It's got a magnetic mount as well, so you can just pull it off a machine or wherever you're mounting it. Yeah, so if you had a rack of printers, you can just have this mounted on the rack. Exactly. Just, anytime you need to control any of the printers. And it communicates with all of them. You just tap the one that you want to communicate with, and you, you do what you want to do with it. You can start one print on multiple printers using it, group control, easy and convenient, and sort of information and control at your fingertips for all the clipper machines that you have running in your room. Awesome. Super cool little device. We're really excited about that. Let's and we also have, have those little... Uh, yes. Yeah, what are We've these? got to show you this. What are, so, what are these? These are... I mean, we have to show you that up close, right? That is a completely see-through PCB. And, uh, I mean, I've spent more time than I care to admit just staring at it because it's just really, really sexy. So this is like a little macro keyboard exactly. kind of thing. So, so, that's, a so Raspberry that's, that's running a little RP2040. Plug that thing in to your main board, and uh, when you hit one of those keys, it'll trigger whatever macro you want. So we've got some special skirt designs that uh, will fit into your Voron skirts, and uh, that, will, that will sort of just screw in place. Then we've got printable keycaps that you can put whatever graphics or icons that you want on the keycaps that correspond to the macros that you've assigned. Okay. And it's a really cool little solution that you get quick and convenient access to commonly used features. Yeah. Yeah. So load, unload, yeah. preheat kind of thing. That's it. Awesome. Now this machine here is kitted out with a bunch of the regular Big Tree Tech upgrades you guys have been offering for a bit now, right? Exactly. So CNC kit. This um, obviously replaces all, oh, not all, but many of the printed parts. And I mean, it just, it's just it's just really cool. It's also obviously a little bit easier to build with it. Um, you get a bit more strength out of them. This is Chaotic Lab. So Chaotic Lab was a separate company um, started by a friend of the owner of BTT. Okay. And then he sold a whole bunch of it to BTT owner Eric, who's over there. Uh, and then I think we actually own the majority of it. So now so it's pretty much It's pretty much BTT and, and we sell all the parts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, I've built, I've got one with the carbon fiber gantry and it works pretty good. So. Yeah, yeah. So we got all the CNC parts in there. We've obviously got the Nomi 2 uh, CPAP. We've got the H2V2X extruder in there. Is it running a tool head board? It is running the 36. Okay. So yeah, everything on here is what's running in there. Okay. And awesome. we've also got this canvas expander board. Not that we necessarily need it, but this is kind of like a one in and six out um, canvas expander board. Oh, so, so, so that would be for like those that are doing like tap changer right now or stealth changer. Bingo, bingo. There Actually, the reason that we did that is because Doc <laughs> got in touch with us and said, look, I'm doing a Phoenix. And uh, I kind of need a board that'll give me a few extra canvas outputs. So we said, okay, we'll do something for you. And then, and that's where we were. Nice. Uh, yeah. So canvas expander board. And then just obviously, I mean, we want to cater to the needs of the, um, the bamboo users as well, right? So yep. we've got a bunch of cool bamboo things. One of them that I'm pretty, pretty excited about. Okay, well, let's first talk about this. So let's face it, the lighting inside these chambers. Not good. The machines, are, they're good. We have, like, they're good machines, but the lighting, not good. And I, I know that Bamboo are going to work on that in their next generation machines. This plugs into the stock um, plug on the machine. It doesn't draw any more than the recommended 0.3 amps, but boy, oh boy, does it make it brighter. Nice. So you, you'll even be able to see it there. So major, major difference. And it's super cheap, super easy to install. It's got mag magnetic base, so you just pretty much clip it in, plug it in, and you're good to go. It's five minutes and you're done. Awesome. Um, and one thing that I really like, let's try to get around this side. So you can actually see it in operation over here, right? Oh yeah, they, it's much brighter. I mean, there's so, it's so much brighter. You can actually see what's going on. So where, where is that the light at? Is oh, it's right here. It's yeah. just a magnetic mount. Yeah, there, there it is. is. Yeah, right there. So that's the Panda Lux. Um, but this is sort of like a little pet project of mine, the Panda Power, right? It just looks like a power brick because largely it, it kind of is, but it connects wirelessly to the Panda Touch um, and then it plugs into the back of your, your machines and the Panda Touch can turn it on and off, which, okay. I mean, it's just pretty neat. I hate leaving my machine running when I'm not using it because yeah. it's just drinking power unnecessarily, but also to reach around the back. Now yeah. I can just tap on the screen, the whole machine shuts off and it has a USB output port that will keep the Panda Touch running oh, okay. while the machine is off. So you just 
plug your Panda Touch in there, Panda Touch stays on. Plus what it'll also do is, uh, let's say you want to print group to multiple printers, but you've all got them running on the same breaker. And if you were to turn all the beds on at the same time, you'd probably trip the breaker up. So this thing over here will ultimately have it where the Panda Touch will be able to initiate a print on a bunch of different printers, stagger it, and it'll tell this one, turn on, heat the bed up, do your thing, get going, stabilize. Then it'll turn on the next one using the Panda Power. Oh, wow. Series. Okay. And progressively go so that you don't overload that breaker. Right. Nice. So right. it staggers the power drain until everything's nice and stable. So Panda Power is something that we're heavy into development. And uh, yeah. yeah, I'm really That'll be really good for those running print farms. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're excited about that. And Panda Jets, of course, a nice little cooling solution. So that just cools from all angles instead of just from the sides. Okay, so it's just an add-on, better yeah. cooling duct. Yeah, okay. an add-on little cooling duct. Yeah. Cool. This is a... Let's call this a tech demo for now. But don't be surprised if you see that as a commercialized product uh, in the near future. So this so that just is... Little tease for now of what's being worked on. Water-cooled AB motors that are NEMA 17 instead of 14, an extremely high flow rate hot end. Uh, little tease, lots of work gone into that as you can see. You can say probably in about three to four months from now you'll see a really, really impressive little v naught kit coming our way. Yeah, I think that's about it. I think from our side, of course, we've got the CB2 and the PAR2, which are finally just released as well. Um, so those finally support yeah. CSI and DSI, as everyone has been asking for. <laughs> um, and in terms of I can filament, look. which, you know, it's also interesting. We've got this little thing over here called NTPU, which, uh, which is TPU that works with no problem inside an AMS. So it's Yeah, because you can't, this yeah. is an AMS with TPU, you're not supposed to do that. Exactly, and, and the way this works is it's actually really, really hard when it's dry. But if it absorbs moisture, it turns down to like a, a shore 82 to 85 hardness. So when you print it, it's hard like PLA. Once you're done and you just throw the object in water, it softens completely and it becomes like TPU. And it'll keep that softness unless you like run it through dehydrator. Unless you run it through a dehydrator and then it'll go hard. Ah. So it's TPU that you can print on an AMS. That is cool. Yeah. And that's actually printing That's right printing now. there, yeah. Yeah, because that's something the AMS said that just the way any any system like this can have an issue with. Yeah, it'll have flexible. an issue with it. Yeah. So awesome. some cool new filaments coming coming out. And uh, yeah, there you can see the Panda Touch in action as well, doing its thing, just busy monitoring the print. Awesome. Yeah. But yeah, lots of cool things in the work from Big Tree Tech. Yeah, we've been busy. Awesome. Cheers. Thanks, man.